I received a question about my thoughts on the law of attraction. And uh, I was talking in that class about how I don't believe that law of attraction works to attract money or financial success the way that many people seem to believe. Because if it did, well, <laughs> everyone or many people who, who are using law of attraction for financial success will be financially successful. But if, uh, you know, the, we might hear of the ones that are like the outliers, but trust me, I've been around the entrepreneurial industry for 14 years. So I've known more people than you probably do about using law of attraction to, to attract money. And I can tell you, mm, yeah, it's, it's, it's way more hyped up as a idea for doing that than, than, uh, than it seems to work. However, however, okay. I have, I can speak from personal experience that law of attraction seems to work well, or or if it does work, it seems to work best in my in my experience for relationship attraction. By relationship, I just don't I just say people attraction. Um, I did use it uh, to attract my my wife to me. It seems to me, and also um, you know clients and uh, now now. Not the number of clients, okay, but the quality of clients, the type of people, the energy and value set, the heart, the energy alignment uh, is what I really believe um, it, it, it does help. It does help. I, I also think the law of attraction works well to, um, I call it, I call it uh, visualize, visualizing the process of your work. You, I have an old, old blog post about that. You can uh, Google, you know, uh, George Cow visualization, and you'll read my old blog post about using law of attraction for, for, for joyful productivity. Cause I've been doing that for years. And um, it's really one of the foundations of joyful productivity that I don't talk enough about law of attraction, but yeah, that's one of the foundations, but I want to talk today about, um, you know, this person asked me if I had any specific exercise for attracting the type of people into our lives and I want to credit a particular book. Uh, most people at this moment would say, oh, think and grow rich, you know. Um, but uh, I never found, I, I had a hard time going, get, I, I was never able to read Think and Grow Rich. I always found it to be like too dense and too weird. Uh, it just didn't, wasn't pleasing to me to read. So I, I don't use that one. But instead, this one is not too, too, too dense for me to read. Uh, this is the patience that I have for books. And uh, this is the size of the book. I mean, it's literally pocket size and it's it's this long. And you don't even have to buy it because th th this entire book is online. Many people have uploaded online as PDFs. It's called It Works by R.H.J., the, little, the famous little red book that makes your dreams come true, which of course is hype, okay? So, you know, don't fall for it. But- the process that's taught in here, which I may completely bastardize because I actually read several books and I'll tell you another one that, that seemed to be helpful uh, in my early years of business. Um, but anyway, what I remember now, I, now I, gotta like re I could probably read the book uh, while I'm talking to you right now because it's that short. Um, no, uh, what I remember from the book, and if once someone reads it, please tell me, George, you completely use a different method. But <laughs> whether it's from this book or something, the method that I used was simple, and this may have actually been from Napoleon Hill, ironically. I wrote down uh, the type of person I was wanting to attract in a paragraph, and I, uh, I read it out loud um, morning, day, night. You know, I, when, when they say morning, day, night, it's not literally some, some kind of like magic incantation. If you read it at 9 a.m., noon, 6 p.m. There's some kind of like stars will align. As a lot of the law of attraction stuff, it feels to me that way. They're 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 using they're they're lying to you about some kind of incantation, sorcery, like some, you're some Taoist master. You got to put this in this order. That it's 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 all it's all here. It's basically what it does is it's trying to transform this. And if you transform this, you start to notice things that you hadn't paid, paid attention to as much in the past, and you'll go more in that direction. It's really, at the end of the day, it's it's your own actions that creates your reality, not your somehow vibrational thoughts that somehow put checks in the mail. It's ridiculous, right? Um, the secret and stuff like that. It's, it's You change this, and then you start, your perception starts to change, and then you make different decisions, and you have different energy 
um, which then attracts different people, obviously, because if you if you if you notice certain things, like you, for example, if you notice, say, you, you want to attract a, a certain type of client um, who is, you know, this is why when I teach classes about client attraction, I ask people to write down. Not a, not a, not a surprise. You write down particularly both the inner characteristics of the client and also some of the outer characteristics. But but I think the law of attraction for relationships works best with inner characteristics. The inner character, the value set, the energy level, because how that soul manifested in this life may be whatever physical features is based on their own life path and their own life needs. So you can't you can't be like, you know, I want I want I want a spouse or a client that looks exactly like this. And you know, you could try it, but I, I don't I, I think that's much harder you're asking the universe to bend over backwards instead of saying, here are the inner characters because I would like to attract. And the universe is great. I've got, I've got lots of types of people, um, short, tall, you know, uh, all, all different colors and all different nationalities that are, that are matching this inner description. And you will start to notice that as you start to, you know, the universe says you will start to notice that as you just go about things. And, and when you, when you, when you use these kinds of affirmations, so again, the exercise was really simple. You write down a paragraph of the inner characteristics of the kind of person you want to attract. Again, it could be romance or it could be business friendship. And, um, and then you, you read it out loud, you know, three times a day for as long as you can have patience to do so. I think for my wife, I read it out loud. I know patience for, for two weeks and then I ran out of patience and then, eventually she appeared i'm like wait a second that's you <laughs> that's remarkable that's amazing um and and so you know same thing with my client i feel like i'm doing law of attraction with my clients all the time just because i kind of already feel you know when i create content i imagine them in my mind and heart so that's already a law of attraction technique already imagine my mind and heart so i'm like always showing up with that energy signature um and i think it works obviously it, it works for me so again there's no incantation or some magic spell. It's basically you read it as often. And when they say three times a day, why three times a day? It's just because they want you to, they figure people, most people eat three meals a day. And, you know, the day is, you might think of a day as having three periods. So it just makes sense just time management wise. But it's, there's no magic for three times a day. Just read it as often as possible. Read it every hour if you possibly can, right? It's, the idea is to change this, change your perception about what you deserve. And what kind of person to start noticing. And then when you notice that kind of person, you tend to, you know, you know, you tend to have some fantasy, like, oh, the universe sent this person to me. And whether or not that's true, you basically have greater confidence. That's the whole point. I'm, I'm being secular about all this, but I think there's a scientific explanation for it, just like there is a woo-woo explanation for it. You're just being more confident. You're, you're, you're being more open and confident to that type of person, that type of energy, that type of value set and heart. And so naturally, you're going to go and message that person, talk to that person, um, learn more about that kind of person. And then you go more into the kinds of events that they go to or what, whatever. You see what I mean? So it's like you, you um, and then you also tend to ignore things that you maybe had paid attention to before because you realize that's not the kind of person you're trying to, to draw. So what I think the law of attraction really is, it's just focusing the mind. It's focusing your perception and your confidence and your motivation and therefore your actions and your actions are what build your reality not your vibrational thoughts okay not not what i've seen from coaching at this point thousands of entrepreneurs it's not the vibrational thoughts it's people's actions but it's the actions taken intelligently it's the actions and the words and the beingness the presence of of them in front of a person or in front of an audience that obviously makes a huge difference to whether the person has business or not um, and, and so it's how they use their time, but all of it is affected by your mind and your heart, which is really what I think the strength of the law of attraction is. So I hope this is helpful and thanks for listening. And thank you, Heather, for being here. And you wanted to share something about this as well. Go ahead. Yeah, I guess this reminds me of your, uh, your reticular activating system, which is that part of your brain that when you, you decide that you want to notice something, it noti you notice it. So like, for example, if you buy like a red sports car. And once you buy it and you're driving it, you see red sports cars everywhere. I mean, I'm sure it's like, had, exactly. Had you're like, experience. why? Like, is, is there, are there suddenly a lot more red sports cars? on the road? No, there's always been the same number of red sports cars. You just, your, your brain is 
trying to help you by not showing you every stimulation. Otherwise you would go mad. So it's like your, your brain and your awareness filters out like 99% of perception. And it's so, yes, thank you for, for bringing that up. Appreciate it. Okay. And Gregory, you had something as well. Sure. Um, it's just something that I learned uh, in spiritual psychology. One of the one of the things we would do something called an ideal scene, and we would we would create we would create an ideal scene, really envisioning using present tense languaging, using pre using verbs, using qualifying adverbs or adjectives, depending upon it. To, to, to energize whatever it was and speak it speak it out write it out in present time as, as a as a way of uh and 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 basically say a prayer of sorts in collaboration with spirit and and this is very to me very important and goes back to the giraffe since since uh, that I mentioned <laughs> uh, earlier so w w which is since the very best that any of us can imagine doesn't match what could be imagined by God or the universe, however one relates to spirituality or, you know, having so much the altitude, highest potential. Yeah. To, to, so one of the caveats that we always include when we cr create an ideal scene in spiritual psychology is at the bottom of the page of the spokes of this ideal scene, we always write this or something even better for the highest good of all concerned. Brilliant. So, yes. so and part of the beauty of that for me, and it's similar in some ways to thy will be done or yeah. other, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's like, here's my prayer. And I recognize with humility that I don't know enough about how the universe works to know exactly what's best. So I'm going to turn it over and release Love any it. attachment uh, and just, and trust. That itself is a practice. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, brilliant. I'm so glad you mentioned this because I was, I forgot to say that what the other early book in my entrepreneurial journey that had a deep impact on me was Mark Allen, M-A-R-C, Mark, M-A-R-C, Allen, A-L-L-E-N, has a, has a book called The Type Z Guide to Success, The Type Z Guide to Success, because uh, I am, you know, I, I was early on, I was very type A, because uh, I was born in type A. Um, but yeah, but then I had to, I had to learn, uh, how to, I had to, no joke, not, not, not that everyone. That was good. That was good. Yeah, I, I borrowed that from somebody else, but, uh, but, but I, you know, I was like, mm, type Z guide to success. That's the opposite of what I had thought. And that, that also that deeply influenced joyful productivity, but that book essentially is teaching the process that you were just talking about mm -hmm. writing that kind of prayer affirmation and literally you know, for the for that or something for the highest good of. So I'm so grateful you mentioned it. Um, one last thing I'll say is um, I I have a blog post about how really is how I use a law of attraction on a daily basis, which is to use visualization for process goals, um, or process visualization. So you can go ahead and look this up. If you just Google George Cal visualization, you will come across this blog post. So, but thank you, thank you for, for all of you for sharing, and uh, thank you all for watching.